you ever start filming and you're just really close to the camera and, and you, you play around with little features, right? Like this little button here. Oh, wait. Okay, well, if I could push buttons, what it would do is zoom in. And <laughs> I don't know if this is what people use. You know when you see little shorts and they kind of zoom in and if that's what they're doing? Or if they hit... Okay, apparently you can't click that button while it's filming. Oh, you can! Oh, you just have to have a better thumb than I do. Oh, okay. Working from home today, and I'm just overwhelmed with everything. It's not a, a negative, super terrible overwhelmed. It's just, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. The past three weeks, my family has been sick. So the kids got sick because, you know, daycare. And uh, they made some friends and friends coughed on them or something. I don't know. Maybe they're all just over there eating each other's shoes. I have no idea. I would like to think that the daycare is better than that. But there are two. So <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, so then the kids got sick. And then mom got sick. And then dad got sick. Uh, that lasted about two days. And I kind of just clung to my wife like a, like a bad habit. And I feel really bad for her because she does everything. All you moms out there, you're awesome. I, I hope. I mean, I know there's off cases, but uh, don't worry about that. Moms are awesome. You're awesome. Thank you for all you do. So it's been a crazy three weeks as far as health is concerned. Just trying to get everyone back on their feet. Feeling good. And, uh, I don't know, that takes a lot. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of time and time management. And the, the kids decided to start waking up a little after 5 a.m. They decided, hey, you know, uh, I'm going to hustle and grind and set my alarm for 4.58. So I'm up before the sunrise. You know, never going to get ahead unless you're grinding it out, right? <sighs> Hashtag just two-year-old things. Uh so they've been waking up crazy early, and mom's not feeling well, and dad is getting less and less sleep, and I feel, I feel run down, feeling just a little, I don't know, demotivated. Uh, we we were filling out some paperwork for a new doctor's office recently, and uh, and I, I I use the word malaise, <laughs> just uh, it's kind of like depression, stage zero point zero one. Because I just am not, I'm not interested in what I'm normally interested in. I'm not motivated to like get up and go do things. I'm not, I'm not into the things I used to be into. And that is why this particular pharmaceutical is for me. Try it yourself. Uh, side effects may include bleeding from the eyes, but uh, I'm fine. Everyone's fine. We're just all over the place. And I really have no idea how to manage that. I have no idea. Remember when you were a kid and you you always thought that adults had things figured out, right? It it just made sense that the adults knew what they were talking about and they they knew what was going on, they knew what they were doing, and then you become an adult and you realize you're just a giant 12-year-old walking around. Uh yeah, <laughs> maybe that's just me in my maturity level, but um I kind of have no idea what I'm doing. I just map some stuff out and go at it. And uh, yeah, the last three weeks have kind of sapped me of that. I... One thing at a time, right? Family includes everything. You know, every day you're with the kids. You feed them, bathe them. You spend time with them. This, this time when they're young is never coming back. They're never going to be two and one ever again. So if I miss this, it's it's gone. And uh, it's really important to me that I'm there for them. Uh, but holy cannoli, are they a lot of responsibility. It is. <laughs> I'm surprised. You, you put them to bed earlier, they still wake up at 5. You put them to bed later, they wake up at 5. It's amazing. If I could just harness that raw discipline and somehow translate it over to myself, that would, that would be wonderful. Uh-huh. But uh, you ever do the thing where you just, you just aren't getting enough quality sleep repeatedly and it, it just, it taxes you. It takes something from you and that's how I feel. I feel 
I don't know, like a really old can of paint, you know, and it gets like the the weird film on top. And, it, you know, it's like a shell with liquid paint on the inside, but my liquid paint on the inside has gone. Instead of being one bucket of actual paint, I'm just some weird paint shell. <laughs> that makes no sense. But it's genuine. And uh, that's something I really want to do with this channel is, is keep it genuine. So here we are. And uh, like I was saying, family takes a lot of effort and no regrets there. Good to spend time with the kids, but family also includes date night with the wife. So these specific days, you definitely need to spend that time together. Did you know that's one of the main reasons people get divorced is that you get married and then you stop dating and then it's over. It's such a, a very simple idea. Something, I, I mean, before you're married, right? You go on dates to get to know each other. You're courting each other, right? Uh, to find that however you will in today's age. And, and then you get married and that falls by the wayside because, I, I don't know, do you get complacent? Are you just focused on other responsibilities? Or is it more of a mindset like, I got that one in the bag, now I can... Now we can just like build a life together or something. I don't know. But it, it, it is strange how, uh, at least from my perspective, the, the urge to go on dates goes down. And it might be because you're with them every day. It might be because, you like I'm describing, you're just tired. Um, maybe you just feel caught up in all these other responsibilities that I'll discuss here in the very near future. Um, I don't know. But uh, it, it's not like you don't want to go on a date with your significant other, right? Obviously, you want to. What isn't fun about getting out of the house and, and whatever you do? You go on a walk, you go to uh, a sit-down restaurant, you, you do some activity together. Um, I've been craving theater lately. Uh, I don't know why I said that, because after I said that, I'm not really feeling theater. But I mean, just that experience. Maybe a comedy club. That would be fun. Uh, but yeah, so kids, dates, <laughs> and then you get to the whole work spectrum, right? You're going, you're going to work, and there's a project there, and oh, thank God, I don't have a lot of take-home work with this current position. That is absolutely wonderful, because the majority of the work there is um, administrative busy work, is how I'll describe it. Uh, it is what it is. I got good health care, and... Probably not going to be fired anytime soon, which is nice. And it just takes up a large chunk of the day. I, I have to focus on the positive, though. It's like every minute you're at work, you're actually providing for your family, which is a plus. There's no drama in the workplace. Another plus. Life is really good. The commute is peaceful. It's kind of hectic. I mean, it's through the middle of a major city, so it's a commute. You do what you got to do. Um... Uh, and outside of that, I, I'm not going to retire at this place, essentially is what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm putting in my time, I'm doing what I can, but I, I just don't see it. Are there, are there ways up? Sure. Are there uh, paths for growth or for transfer internally? Absolutely. And I'm totally looking into that. But um, yeah, long term, I'm definitely going somewhere else. It's, I need more challenge in the workplace, more opportunity to grow, more responsibility. Okay, so the last job, I felt like I was in charge of a lot of things. Not in a managerial sense, not in the power over people way, but in the, uh, this infrastructure, I'm responsible for it. I own the outcome of this physical hardware, the software running on it. I, I really like being an operations guy and being the guy there. <laughs> that was... It's fun. It wasn't quite a situation where if Luke leaves, the lights go out. Not quite that. But when there's an IT issue, everyone goes to Luke. And that was, that was, I like that level of responsibility. I like that level of involvement. It's just, that's the perfect word for it. It's more involving. It, uh, it keeps you occupied. And uh, mentally, physically, on some of the more busy days. And you really... You gain experience from that that you don't get anywhere else. So that kind of transitions into the other part of my life. So we've covered family, we've covered work, and then you get, what do you call this? Career upgrades, uh, studying, work part two, whatever it is, right? 
that whole area of responsibility is just self-learning, just diving into a topic and and building stuff at home. And this wonderful little workstation over here. Um, yeah, so that uh, that's its own bucket of headaches. Uh, I've covered that in previous videos. You sit down and, and you say, I'm going to build this entire code pipeline. And then you spend like half an hour fiddling with uh, your, your setup because some random small thing breaks and whatever. But um, that is my favorite part of the work day. It's building new skills. Most of that would be done on a job that has more responsibility. Let's just be honest. If I was in a, a more technically demanding, a more responsible, heavy job, responsibility heavy job, uh, you, you would be taking on tasks that are just slightly above your current capability. And in those projects, that's where the most growth is gonna happen because you're going to feel healthily challenged by it. Right? It's just challenging enough that you're engaged, but you're not panicking. It's, it's like a flow state. Uh, but I don't have that in my current workplace. So in the evenings, come home, build software. It's awesome. Build the infrastructure to run that software. Right now my software says, hello world. <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, I'm focusing right now on Jenkins, actually. And... Uh, what does that mean to you all? If you had a diary and it starts as a blank, bunch of blank pages, right? Well, uh, if you were to write something in it, it would essentially be a new diary, right? Um, you would have to update the diary. No, that doesn't make any sense. That's a terrible metaphor. Uh, it updates code for you. There you go. You have a server running some code. Jenkins updates the code that's running on that server. That's all you got to know. Um, so focusing on that because uh, that's, that's what's gonna lead to the next job career upgrade. Woo! Uh, yeah, really wish this was more focused. I've, I've struggled all day to film this. I'm just not, I'm not feeling it. Like I was talking about earlier, that whole malaise thing. I just wanna climb into bed and sleep. Uh, I mean, it's the weirdest paradox too because I enjoy every minute with my kids is, and I mean that too. I had the other day, they, I picked them up and they kicked me and we were playing and uh, I was in a lot of pain, but you're still playing and uh, you learn how to like compartmentalize, right? This part of your brain is crying. This part of your brain is joyful because your kids are giggling. Uh, kids are great. Wife is great. Work is fine. Working on the side. This is called studying. Studying is fine. I just feel, can I just get a hotel room? Can I just like check out for a few days? And like, I'll be right back. I'm going to, I'm going to go sleep. All right. Just uh, for emphasis, you see what I mean? Uh, it's not going to happen. I can't just disappear, leave the family. I can't not show up to work. I'm just run down sleep-wise. And that's translated everywhere. Um, the other day I, I signed into YouTube, responded to some of the comments, and you guys are wonderful, by the way. Every comment you leave is wonderful. Some of them are a little out there. You should leave more like that. Those are pretty fun. But uh, <laughs> it was very inspiring. It was like, oh my gosh, I have a comment. I'm going to respond to this person. and. Uh, it, it felt good. I felt ready to sit down and film. And then today, I'm like, yes, there's some free time. Let's do it. Let's pump out a video. It's like 2.10 p.m. or something like that. I finally got to it. I'd, I started filming earlier. My wife was in the other room. I could just, I, I felt weird. <laughs> I felt weird talking to myself in a bedroom like this. It's so weird. I don't know. Maybe I need to exercise more. Maybe I need to get a full night of sleep for a few days in a row. I don't know. I don't know because there's not specifically anything wrong in my life. There's just... Ah! <laughs> so, 
So, uh, I hope you're all well. I'm doing well. Definitely going to have some more focused content coming out soon because you ever write something down and then not get to it? It's, it's the worst thing ever. I, I like to do the opposite, you know, like my kids wake up at five and get a bunch of stuff done. But <laughs> you write it down, you work through the list, you're crossing stuff off, it feels great. But I'm talking about the opposite. When you write something down and then nothing, and then it just sits there on some, some metaphorical shelf. That is every video topic I've ever come up with. Just a, just a list of stuff I want to talk about. I don't even open up that list because I, I'm just out of it. <laughs> and it's, yeah. So I'm going to solve this riddle. I'm going to figure out what I need. Maybe it's just a kick in the pants, you know? Maybe it's like a, a momentum thing. You know, you do this today. I'll film another one tomorrow. Awesome. Uh, just kind of get the ball rolling. I don't know. I don't know. I've tried, uh, let's use working out as an example past few workouts have been good enough you know you work your muscles out you run three miles you feel like you did something it's better than not doing something right but it's just I don't know it's like that uh, I should have used a better metaphor than the can of paint thing because I'm thinking of like hollow food now you know it's like when you eat something and you think it's chocolate filled but it's actually just like hollow chocolate and whatever um don't lean on that wall. <sighs> I hope you're doing well. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Have a good night. Take care of yourself. <laughs>